Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we got into all the news. I didn't do a show yesterday, but we got into all the news, um, on all the fights from, from the weekend. And I want to follow up on uh, Luis Alberto Lopez, who, who, who I've been uh, shouting out for a while now. Um, this is the most underrated man in the sport. I just want to go over his story and, 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 and how good this guy is. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing. 3D Boxing blog and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please follow uh, our other channels, well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, I want to get into this Luis Alberto Lopez thing. Because um, this story <laughs> is phenomenal, and he is boxing's most underrated fighter. I, I want to take you back to early 2019. We're talking about four and a half years ago. Uh, main event in... in uh, the Yakima R- R- Casino, a little casino in Tepenish, am I saying that right? Yakima, uh, wa- Washington. He beats Ray Jimenez, who's a highly talented 126 pound prospect. Comes out of nowhere, beats him. Um, he comes back a couple months after that, only like two, three months after that, loses a very competitive fight to uh, Ruben Villa that was on a showbox card. Um, loses that fight. It looks like, okay, this guy's just a fringe contender. Um, you know, that's all he is. He's a tough guy with some pop. He's not going to make it out the next level. He gets an upset over Christian Baez in the end of 2019. He fights five times in total in 2019. Takes a couple, two fights before that. He comes back in, in, in the top rank bubble in Las Vegas during the, the, the pandemic. Gets a split decision over Andy Vences. That takes two fight, comes back, uh, 2021, September, 2021. And destroys Gabe Flores at 130 pounds. Now it's getting close. Now, now he's getting close. Then he comes back three months after that, less than three months after that, and destroys Isaac Lowe in the eliminator fight. Drops him in the first, drops him in the second, KOs him with a body shot in the seventh. Now he gets a title shot, right? He gets one more tune-up fight in the interim. He, uh, oh, two more tune-up fights. I'm sorry. Two more tune-up fights. Um, and then he gets the Josh Warrington fight. Goes over, fights Josh Warrington in his backyard, and beats Josh Warrington. Gets the, gets the split decision, which he deserved. That's December of 2022. I mean, this is a crazy story, guys. Yeah, this is a guy that was brought in to be a B-side to to a middling prospect named, Ray, named Brady Jimenez, right? Uh, and, and now he's on. He's on. The, you know. Now he's a world champion. Then to follow that up, five months later, six months later, whatever it is, he comes back. And he fights Michael Conlon. He fights Michael Conlon in Michael Conlon's backyard and absolutely annihilates Michael Conlon. So in the last four plus years, he's got whatever Conlon, Warrington, Isaac Lowe, Gabe Flores, Andy Vences, Christian uh, Baez, and Ruben Villa. I mean, and Ray Jimenez, and and one loss to Ruben Villa. So that's one, two, three, four, five. It's like seven quality wins and the one loss. That's a really good resume. And he's destroying people now, right? He, he got the decision of Warrington and Warrington's backyard, which you want to beat Warrington and Warrington's backyard. You got to knock him out to get it. He beats him up, right? Against the decision. He destroyed Isaac Lowe. He, and, and, and he's fighting people. You know, Low, Warrington, Conley. He's going over there and fighting all those guys in their backyards. Um, it, it's time to put some respect on this man's name. I, I don't know what you want to do, what what you want this guy to do. Uh, but you, you you look at the makeup of 126. You got Ray Vargas, Lee Wood, Rubisi Ramirez, Brandon Figueroa, and, and 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 Lopez, Josh Warrington, who he beat, right? Um, he would destroy Lee Wood. He would destroy Ray Vargas. You know, Figueroa and, and Robisi Ramirez would make really, really style, interesting stylistic matchups. Um, 
you know, I, I think he beats Ramirez. Brandon Figueroa is, is the one outstanding that I don't know if he beats. But this is a crazy story. And his name does not get mentioned in any pound for pound list or anything like that. I'm not saying he's there yet, but look at his resume. Not only is he winning these fights, he's going into people's backyards and beating them. Like, this is crazy. He's going in their backyards and beating them, beating them all up. Um, like he destroyed Michael Conlon. You can beat Michael Conlon. It's hard to, to annihilate him, and he annihilated him. Uh, I, I think he's on this level already. I, I don't know what they're going to do with him next. Hope, hopefully, they got Robisi Ramirez for him next. I, I hope that's a top-ranked fight. I'd like to see him fight Lee Wood if he wants to keep going over to the UK and and and, 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 and slaughtering these guys. If he wants to keep going over there and, and stopping and, and beating up these guys, I think he should do that. But I, I think one of those are his next two fights, either Lee Wood or, or BC Ramirez. And I, I'm pretty sure he's going to win either of those fights. It's just a crazy story because he's unconventional. He's stylistically, he's a bit weird, right? Like he throws punches from weird angles and he leaves, seems to leave himself wide open to be countered. Um, but he puts punches behind it, right? Like he puts good punches behind it, right? And, and he throws in combination and he, and he has power and he's got speed and he throws from different angles. And, you know, you can't just stand in with him and try to time him because it's so unconventional and the punches are just coming from different angles. He's going to be a lot to deal with, even though he doesn't look traditional. Um, and I, I really think it's time that we put some respect on this man's name. Luis Alberto Lopez, the uh, most underrated man in the sport of boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, it's May 29th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.